This is InfoLife TV headline news June 2nd. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Prime Minister Olmert will embark on a week-long visit to Washington Monday night where he will meet with President George Bush and senior administration officials as well as facilitate the Israeli Air Force purchase of new F-35 fighter jets. Before leaving, Olmert is scheduled to meet with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Israel announced Sunday that Hezbollah's handover of what it said were the remains of Israeli soldiers killed in the Second Lebanon War was not part of a broader prisoner exchange deal. Meanwhile, officials at the Abu Kabir Institute of Forensic Medicine said Sunday that the process of identifying the body parts could take between days to months depending on the state of the tissue and the availability of DNA samples. Israel will try to assist Palestinian students in the Gaza Strip hoping to study overseas achieve their aim by facilitating their exit from Gaza, a foreign ministry spokesman said Sunday. Israel's agreement to help came in response to a request by the United States that it allow seven students set to receive the coveted Fulbright Fellowship to travel to Jerusalem for visa applications. Nuclear experts fear that blueprints and manuals on manufacturing weapons-grade uranium for atomic warheads are circulating on the international black market. A report in the British newspaper The Guardian said nuclear investigators had been following up these concerns since the Swiss government disclosed last week that it had destroyed tens of thousands of documents pertaining to an infamous nuclear smuggling probe. Iranian Foreign Minister Manoushe Mutoki called on the world's Muslim Sunday to work to erase Israel in the latest verbal attack by Tehran against the Jewish state. Recalling a saying by Iran's late revolutionary leader Ayatollah Khomeini, Mutaki said, as the Iman Khomeini said, if each Muslim throws a bucket of water on Israel, Israel will be erased. Marking 41 years since the reunification of Jerusalem, Celebrations will get underway in the capital today with an array of events guaranteeing enjoyment for all ages. From firework displays, antique cars and parades in the capital streets as well as a salutary event by paratroopers at the Sultan's Pool. Tune in to InfoLive TV for the daily sports update. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world.